Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and today we're going to chill out with Silk's new Summer Days uniform. Now, this uniform is paywall. You do have to pay some money to get 20 tokens to supplement the 10 tokens that you get from the check-in. So we're going to be a little bit more critical of this uniform. We really want to run this uniform through its paces to make sure that it's worth your money. So let's go ahead and check out the rotation, check out the skill animations here. I'm doing this from the start in the skill preview because there's an important thing I want to show you that's most easily highlighted here because you can count the number of hits very easily. So her fourth skill, very cool. She throws the ice cream truck at you and it rains down ice cream cones. This does about 40 hits, anywhere from like 35 to 40 hits. Very, very good skill. 40 hits on one skill is awesome. Huge AOE. It's got different effects, right? Different debuffs. It's great, and it's got a buff as well. And you got her fifth skill where Wave comes in, and it's going to hit for about, I believe it's another 40 or 50 hits. 41 hits. And I purposely set this up here so you know. <laughs> see, these boys are, have been pushed way back. So you know this is only happening to one enemy. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to do four cancel five. You can immediately cancel four. This is really important. And you can combo the hits. Oh, actually, I canceled a little bit too fast. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. You have to maybe delay it by half a second less. Anyways, you can combo them, and there you go. You get the full amount. You get 80 plus hits, which has huge synergy with chain hit damage. As you guys know, chain hit damage, very, very strong. We don't have the chain hit damage listed here. Yeah, 18%. So she is going to be a menace, and she's going to be so proc friendly. Because you're also going to want to uh, splash in the three, because it also has a buff. So you're just going to go three, four, five. Very straightforward rotation. Very, very smooth. 80 plus hits and humongous damage. And then you've also got two. You can hide in the iframe in between. And then you've also got the one where there's an iframe at the end. So the rotation for her would be three cancel, four cancel, five proc. You're going to get tons of damage here. I just need to practice because it seems like I'm canceling four early sometimes. Yeah, you need to at least see the webbing on four. But yeah, you do three cancel, four cancel, five proc. And then you're going to do, you can do two afterwards to hide. Honestly, her fifth skill, I haven't tested it out, but her fifth skill might have more damage than her sixth skill. So what you could also alternatively do is you could do six, three, four, five. Because there's a, there's a, there's a gap in between uh when uh spider woman uh, spider woman and spider Gwen uh, jump in to when they start attacking but that is with her transcended skill her awakening skill i don't have her awakening skill unseen spider strike just yet but we're gonna be testing her out with a power of angry hulk build no obelisk i love these tests and a mythic uniform so this is just her raw damage we've got just under twenty nine thousand physical attack forty thousand hp We've got Gears at 20 with just physical attack Uru, so she's very bare bones in terms of the rest of the build. We do have quite a few good stats capped, however, including dodge and attack speed because of my crafted cards, but only 155% crit damage, so this could definitely go a lot higher. But let's go ahead and see now what she can do against stage 99 proximate. For those of you wondering, uh, you can probably substitute White Fox for Scarlet Spider. It's going to end up being about the same. White Fox is going to give you more chain hit damage, which is going to synergize in some ways, but uh, Scarlet Spider is going to give you other buffs. But yeah, I would probably just go with White Fox. If you don't have the new White Fox uniform, then Scarlet Spider is a very easy substitute for uh, Silk, and he'll provide almost as good of a, a buff as Spider uh, as uh, White Fox would for uh, Scarlet for uh, Silk. Excuse me. So we're going to do three, four, five, and again, we're not procking here because there's nothing to proc on. But you can see the damage is pretty crazy. Two bars from this combo. And you're fully protected during the animation. We can go into two after that. And then you can almost just repeat it right after. It's a super duper smooth rotation. For a tier two character, level 70 with no obelisk, this is definitely the kind of damage you want to see from a uniform that you have to pay real money for. And you get the heal on the five. So even if you take damage, you're totally fine defensively because you can just recover. And again, you can just go right back into the rotation when it's done almost immediately because the iframe on five is so long. This is so easy. She's so smooth to play, so fun, really good animations, top quality damage it seems, good debuffs and buffs to herself, healing, chain hit damage. She really does have basically 
everything that you want to see in a PvE type of character. I don't think, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't think she's going to have much PvP potential, but very, very strong for PvE. 49 seconds to get down to the last six bars. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to pull it up now to see if I can find it. Actually, you know what? I didn't even do a pre-update for the old Silk Uniform. There's no point. There's no point. There's there's no way. There's no way. This is definitely, you know, an Enchantress level buff. This is, this might be the best uh, Summer Days uniform we've ever seen besides, let's say, Cable Tier 3 Summer Days. But usually to get the most out of him, you're going to want to also give him a Mighty or Brilliant CTP of Energy. So, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and transcend her and see what she can do. So, we're going to awaken her potential here. I'm really excited for this. I think she's going to be really, really strong. It's really nice as well to see older characters, right? Older characters, especially because she got her awakening last year and then nothing. No uniform, nothing. So, I'm really, really happy for Cindy. I think even if you're not going to awaken her, she's a decent character with this uniform she's really fun to play like one of the most unique animations in the game with the ice cream cones and super easy to play and very strong especially if you need a speed type if you need a physical type character but let's go ahead and awaken her yeah cindy looking swagalicious swagalicious is an old an old boomer term for us uh us you know old millennials all right so we're gonna go ahead and level this up to level six I believe she does, I think accumulation is the only thing she doesn't have, right? Yeah, accumulate. So even without accumulation, she hits really hard. Surprising that she she's so good despite not having accumulation. When she uses a web skill, she gets that guaranteed crit. So yeah, whenever you pop the three, you're going to get that buff here. So now we're going to have to take uh, her uniform, her uh, gears up to 25 so we can transcend her. Let's see if we get shafted here. One, 16. We want to see single digits here. Single digits. Okay, we're not going to do the dance. Okay, 25 is kind of high, but it's okay. I can now use her in story mode fragment farming, so I can try to recoup some of my losses here permanently because she's featured pretty often. 5, 14, let's go single digits. 23, okay. So we've had 25 and 23 on the last two rolls. Not what you want to see. Black sandals, those look really good actually. 6. 17, you want to go lower, 6, okay, 8, 11, okay, that's really good, the 11 is really nice there, saved us some resources, we've spent about a thousand of each resource thus far, let's see if we can finish off strong with a low roll here, 12, let's keep it in the teens, let's keep it in the teens, okay, we kept it in the teens, pretty good, so that was under 1500, I believe that was under 1500 for her gears, yeah, that was about 1400, uh, 1300 or 1400 for the uh, tier 3 materials that was not bad at all and now we're going to go ahead and transcend her potential let's go so she's going to gain another 10,000 hp a little bit of uh, physical and energy defense and then she gains about 8,000 about 9,000 physical attack not bad you want to see these characters gain about 10,000 uh, attack uh, or, or more uh, hp right anything less than i think 9 or 10k is going to be a bit too low unless they had really high base stats to begin with. The thing with speed types as well is they tend to have lower base stats. So what you get from your cards and what you get from your Uru and thing is going Uru and things is definitely going to matter more. Now we have her transcended just based off her stat bump, okay? I want to see what she can do. We're just going to jump right back in and then we're going to test her out briefly against uh Null to see if she can do the first stage with no obelisk. We love to do those kinds of raw damage tests. Let's go, Cindy, some, serving up some raw ice cream. Here we go. So we're gonna do six, three, four, uh, okay, she ran away from us. Not cool, Proxima, not cool. So we end up basically having the same rotation as before. Yeah, this, the damage is, pretty similar it's still actually better but uh yeah proxima is being a little bit of a a, a wriggly wr wriggling worm let me try that one one more time proxima likes to jump away a lot and if you're trying to set up this combo properly you don't want her to jump so positioning her between uh the stage and a wall is probably the best bet okay let's see here there i think we got the full combo again i'm playing it as though i had a proc even though i don't ok 
Okay, that damage is a little bit worse. Where did she go? Okay, she's so fast too. Look at the speed. The guaranteed crit rate means she's also going to be good with a rage if you really wanted to give her that. It's just the, the range on her fifth skill is a little bit lower. So the good thing is we're almost, the, the timing is almost the same. Huh. So she really doesn't gain that much from this stage 99 clear. Like the time is almost the same. The sixth skill doesn't seem to add much, to be honest. I don't know if you'd be better off. Like I'd have to go in ahead and test that. I don't really want to test that right now, but uh, you'd have to test whether it's better to do five cancel six or to do, hmm. Let's see here. Let's just let's, let's try this. Whether it would be better to do uh, three cancel, four cancel, five cancel, six, and let that play out, or three cancel, you know, let the six sort of uh, only get the beginning of things going. Let's see what happens here. Not bad. Three bars, not bad. Okay, let's see what the regular proc looks like, the regular uh, damage without the six skill. Okay, true. Not bad, not bad. We do the third skill on the on the co-op, which is nice too. Okay, we're gonna try and see here. Okay, we're gonna try and see here if we do three, four, five, six, and we we land on six instead. The thing with six is that it has a really long animation, so it's not necessarily the best. We're doing pretty good thus far, though. We're gonna go ahead and dodge both cages, which is really nice. And again, this is no obelisk, just pure raw damage. I'm actually very impressed with Cindy. We're gonna go ahead and cancel six. That wasn't exactly the rotation I wanted to do. I think maybe playing, playing out six is better. Yeah, looking at the damage there, I think letting six play out is better than the five. It's a little bit more damage. Especially with the chain hit that she has. But uh, this is almost the same amount of damage that my Doom Tier 3 was doing before I factored in his buffs. So that's pretty impressive. A minute and a half for a character that no one was using with no leadership, no support, no CTP of Insight, no Obelisk whatsoever. And, and minimal Uru, right? She still has like, you know, 15 Uru slots uh, un, un, unequipped. Or maybe not 15, but you, you know you know what I mean. It's like 10, 10 slots unequipped for me to put more crit damage Uru, etc. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. And I don't think that's even her optimal rotation. I think you would want to uh, let the six play out. I think the chain hit damage is going to uh, make up for the fact that the six six's damage is really spread out. Let me just do this again. Let me try one more time. I actually really like Cindy here. Let's go ahead and do this here and see. Nice. Let all that play out here, and then we're gonna go right back into three, four, five. Nice. Boom. Do that there. Dodge the cage. Nice. I'm going to do 4-5. We're a little bit awkward on the proc right now, but that's okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this would not be a good proc rotation if I actually had a damage proc obelisk, but we don't, so we're good. Okay, we dodge the second cage again. Yeah, we get about two and a half bars worth of damage every time we pop off that rotation. It's nice, man. We only got knocked back once, which is also really good. Nice little burst there. Looks so cool with the ice cream, like, exploding in the background.
Nice. Nice, yeah, so you definitely don't want to cancel six. You definitely want to do three, four, five, six, and then three, four, five. But it's a super easy rotation, super straightforward, and she's able to go as fast as some pretty strong characters with no obelisk and a minimal build. So I'm very excited to see what she can do with an obelisk and then possibly a CTP. I think a CTP of energy is definitely going to be a good option for her. The synergy is just so huge because you're going to get 18% plus 30 so you get almost 50% chain hit, and her base combo is 80 hits. So that's a huge chain hit bonus. Really, really good stuff. Basically, the only other thing would be if she had, she has damage reduction as well. Wow. And 35% guaranteed dodge. So good defensively, the heal. The only thing is her leadership is bad. That's literally the only criticism of this character. Otherwise, I think this uniform is a huge hit. And especially if you like the character's animations and you think they're fun, you're not going to see another character like this for a long time, especially another spider character, right? For us, for a webbing character to be raining down ice cream, we're probably never going to see that in the game again, right? For the for the like for the lifetime of the game. So that's that's pretty big in my opinion as far as uniqueness goes. So hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Cindy Moon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.